Hey friends, today I'm hanging out at Hollywood Studios. There's a lot of new things that are popping up here, including a new sign for Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, and also the refurbishment for the Muppets is actually done. So we get to see what the new inside looks like. But I don't think we're riding Tower of Terror. 120 minute wait, and the line starts here. So let's go do this. Other than the long wait time at Tower of Terra, it's actually a very beautiful day. Nice and windy, sun is out, the skies are blue. This is how I like it. I think I'm going to head right down to the Muppets. I really want to sit down and enjoy that show. And now that they kind of touched it up a little bit, I don't know, it doesn't change the show at all. But it's been a while since I've been there and I really do like it. Actually, one of my favorite meet and greets was actually meeting Sweetums in person and taking photos with them. I don't know why, I just really love that character meet and greet. Seems like a lot of people are heading into Galaxy's Edge Why I'm looking for Grand Avenue. And here we are in the Grand Arts Theater, Muppet Vision now playing. Before we get into Muppets Vision, I want to show you guys the queue. This is never gets used, but it's got some really cool stuff back here. They never actually have a long wait, so I'm sure at one point in time they anticipate it and they had to use this before. But if you look back here, look at all of this. The Bride of Frogestrine. <laughs> look at all of these. This is amazing, isn't it? Look at all the beams. They're painted like the Muppets. And then check out this up here. In case of emergency, call an air conditioning duck. <laughs> that is awesome, isn't it? Now, we're gonna get back to some of the classic Muppet movie posters, like Wild Frogs, Pirates of the Amphibian, <laughs> and a couple more down here that I really, really like. Star Chores. <laughs> Oh wow, I miss this so much. It used to actually be able to walk straight this way a long time ago. Look at all the eyes on the vents and on the beams. I'm telling you, so smart. <laughs> How about this 3D Gonzo? <laughs> That's supposed to be Gonzo's nose. Wow. You must be shorter than this to enter. All the signs are really nifty, like this one is from the props department and it's for the production of Attack of the Killer Potatoes. Here's another props case right here and the contents are Gonzo's descending staircase for the production of Stair Track. <laughs> and as you're reading all the different cases, be careful that they don't just load and leave you. Because <laughs> that just almost happened. But now we're going inside the theater. I take a look at the update. I'm excited. <sighs> it does smell new. It's got that fresh paint. Yeah, I like it. Everybody wants to sit all the way over on that side. Guess I'll uh, take this one so no one's near me. <laughs> Hi, sweetums. Oh. What? Huh? Beam, what are you doing in there? 
I'm running away. And now all of the cannonball damage is fixed. Look at that. I love it. The Muppets, <laughs> Muppet Vision is such a fun, entertaining show with live performers, puppets, animatronics, and even firework LED lights all crammed in with the 3D show. It's amazing, right? And if you were looking to see where you can get some Muppet stuff, right here. <laughs> and last time I was here, the Muppet Fountain was actually all boarded up, and now it's back to its old glory. So now I think we're going to head to the Chinese Theater to check out that new sign, but first I think we're going to have to make a pit stop at Baseline. It is always beer o'clock here. I think we're going to go with the Golden Road Hefeweizen. Are we doing 60? Most people kind of have a hard time with walking and drinking, but that's not me. I actually prefer it. Nothing like cruising around the parks with a beer in hand. As long as you don't run into people, but usually, you know, I kind of creep to the side anyway. I don't walk down main pathways. And uh, I don't know, it's just really relaxing. All right, here we are at the Chinese Theater. I'm sure if you haven't seen it already, it's in a lot of videos, posted over Instagram and Twitter, but I've seen it and I think I needed to just come out and physically see it. Mission accomplished. But now let's move on and go into Toy Story Land. Maybe ride Slinky Dog Dash. Buzz Lightyear has moved his meeting spot, was over here next to the Toy Story Land statue, but I think they have some kind of scrim up here. I don't know what that is. Oh, I do know what that's for. That's going to be for the new restaurant. Ah, interesting. The Roundup Rodeo Barbecue. Look at that. There's enough land here to hold all the ideas and plans we can possibly imagine. Walt Disney says it himself. Speaking of Slinky. <laughs> 95 minute wait right here. Wow. Actually, it's not that bad. I'm so excited. It's time to get Slinky. <laughs> I do want to point out that I think this crayon is my favorite. Just me. Thank you. Bye-bye! You know, that ride really just brings out a smile in anybody. I don't think I cannot grin or laugh actually riding that ride. I just love it. I really do. And I think now we're going to head on over to Batu. Why not? But something smells like really good over here. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's Woody's lunchbox. I, I, I don't know what I'm smelling, but it smells good. 
I love the music and the little sounds of the critters as you're walking in here. Really sets the mood. And I feel like if I was a droid, I would probably be him. <laughs> I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to see about the single rider line for Smuggler's Run. Uh-oh. Well, the standby is only 50 minutes, so that means maybe single rider is quite short. So, I'm not sure about this, but I think that you can go into either hangar bays as single rider. So, we'll take a look up here. Lines right about there. And then we're going to take a look at this one over here. And this one is already better. I can tell you that, so we're going this way. And I would think this is much better. Thank you. Engineer is the life for me. This is the coolest room ever. Ah. Might as well have a seat. Oh. I might have a kind of a weight, so I'll just do do do. I remember when this ride first opened up, it used to be so popular to try to sit down here. Now like the room is full and like only a couple people pay attention to this cool little sitting area. We're going in, we're going in. Load up! Oh, we're starting already! Oh, that was great, wasn't it? Oh. All right. I think the most important thing about riding Smuggler's Run is the people you ride with. That family was phenomenal. I loved it. They were in such great spirits. I love it. You got to love the ride when it's like that. 
now we're gonna make our way out of Galaxy's Edge and more towards the front of the park itself and we are back out front in front of the park and wow I had a great day today it was a lot of fun actually like we did slinky dog smugglers run you can't go wrong just doing those two things in one day I wish I could have done rise of resistance but I wasn't here early enough so you know smugglers run is definitely a great ride to ride Anywho's, love the life you live. We'll see you next time. Bye.